Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamu alaikum my name is Asan and today we are going to open menu from right side in Elementor Pro WordPress before starting work it's my request please subscribe my channel thank you now back to our work so we are using Elementor Pro plugin and we are going to open menu from right side now go to dashboard on left side you see templates and then you see pop-up so click on it so we are going to create pop-up and then you see add new template so click on it now you see choose template type pop-up so you can add name so we added name right menu and then click on create template again you see pop-up now close so we are going to create pop-up from start and then you see pop-up so first we are going to do pop-up setting and then you see pop-up setting icon so click on it on left side you see setting style advance and then you see width so you can set width according to requirement so we are going to display or open menu from right side on desktop, tablet and mobile layout. Now you see width for desktop layout. So you can set 300 and then you see height. Now select fit to screen and then you see content position. Now select top and then you see position horizontal. Now you see left, center, right. Now select right and then you see vertical, center. Now you see structure, so drag and drop here and then you see overlay, enable, close button, enable, now you see close button, if you want to disable overlay, now click on it, now you see, so it's up to you and then you see interest animation, now select and then we are going to set slide in right, now you see exist animation, now select and then we select slide out right and then you see animation duration. So you can select according to requirement. Now you see we set 0.5 and then you see general setting. So click on it. Now you see title preview setting on top. You see style. So click on it. So we are going to add background color background type. Now you see classic. So you can set color scheme according to requirement. Now you see and then you see image. If you want, you can add background image and then you see border type box shadow and then you see overlay. So click on it. Now you see color. So you can set overlay opacity according to requirement now you see. So you can select according to requirement and then you see close button so click on it now you see close button. Now you see position inside vertical position horizontal position so you can set according to requirement. Now you see vertical and then you see horizontal. So you can set according to requirement so we set 84 now you see. And then you see color if you want you can set color scheme now make it white now you see and then you see size so you can increase it again you see if you want you can set our color scheme and then on top you see advance so click on it now you see advance option show close button after second auto close after second prevent closing on overlay enable only close by using this button prevent closing on escape key enable. If you want, you can disable page scrolling if you want. You can avoid multiple pop-ups, so it's up to you. So you can select this option if you want. And then you see margin padding. So we added background color and then we are going to add menu. Now you see plus icon, so click on it. Now you see flex box, so again click on it. Now select structure. So we are going to add single column. Now remove one. Now you see column. Now make it. 100% width and then you see overlapping now you see pop-up setting again so click on it now go to advance and then you see padding uncheck link value together first and then we are going to add padding top for desktop now you see 50 so you can add padding top according to requirement so it's up to you and then you see desktop so you can add padding top for tablet portrait mobile portrait so it's up to you and then you see setting so we set desktop width 300 now click on mobile so you can set mobile width according to requirement so we set 200 so you can set according to requirement now again click on desktop and then we are going to add menu so click on plus icon now search widget menu now you see wordpress menu so drag and drop here like this and then you see menu name so you can select menu according to requirement and then you see layout now select vertical 
and then you see alignment so you can set and start center now you see so it's up to you so you can do color scheme according to requirement and then you see mobile drop down now select none and then scroll up you see style so click on it so you can set color scheme according to requirement now we are going to set color white if you want you can set our color scheme now you see so it's up to you and then you see drop down and then on top you see advanced so click on it now you see margin padding width so you can do styling and setting according to requirement and then click on publish and then click on save and close so we don't add any condition and then you see your pop up is live so we added background color menu background color type setting padding in pop up now go to elementor adder so this is our adder so we remove menu so instead of menu we added button now you see edit button widget we added now you see type default so we remove text and then you see icon we select so we select bar icon now you see and then you see style so we reset color scheme if you want you can increase icon size so we set 26 now you see and then you see color scheme now you see text color so you can make it white our color scheme so you can do according to requirement now you see so it's up to you so you can set border color border type border radius padding according to requirement so it's up to you and then we are going to link our pop-up to this button now you see content so click on it and then you see link now you see dynamic text so click on it now you see multiple option and then you see action pop-up so click on it now select pop-up now pop-up selected again click on it now you see action open pop-up now you see pop-up all now select and then add your pop-up name right and then you see right menu template now select so we link this button to our pop-up and then click on publish now publish done go to website page and refresh the page so we are going to open menu from right side in desktop tablet and mobile layout now you see menu so this is our button widget so when we hover on it and then click on it now you see slide in now click on overlay now you don't see menu close we press escape key you don't see menu close only menu close by this slide out again open now you see so you can add animation effect according to requirement and then we are going to check on mobile right click on it and then you see mobile simulator activate the mobile view on this page so click on it so we are in mobile layout now you see now click on menu now you see slide in from right side now close again click on it now you see so you can set width for mobile layout according to requirement now close again open and when we scroll down now you see page scrolling active now go to pop up again and then you see pop up settings so click on it and then you see disable page scrolling enable this option and then click on publish again save and close now publish done again go to page and refresh the page so we enable this option disable page scrolling now open menu again when we scroll down now you don't see any moving on page because we enable option in our pop-up setting now close and then you see so when we open it you don't see scrolling so this pop-up menu set on desktop tablet and mobile layout and menu open from right side so i hope you like this video please like comment share subscribe thank you for watching